We're back again and <laughs> back from where? <laughs> Hello everybody, we're doing a video today, a little college Q&A, and I have some friends as you can see. Um, so we're gonna go around and introduce ourselves. As y'all know, I'm Madison, I'm from Jackson, Tennessee, and my major for now is sociology. I'm Portia, I'm from St. Louis, Missouri. I'm majoring in creative writing and film and media studies. <laughs> my name is Edia, I'm from the South Suburb of Chicago, and I'm from <laughs> I'm going to either major in bio or anthropology. My name is Carissa. I'm from North Rock, Arkansas, and I'm looking to major in computer science. I'm Sparkle. I'm from South Side Chicago, and I'm double majoring in design and African American studies. My name is Kiara. I'm from Wake Forest, North Carolina, and I'm majoring in English on the pre-med track. My name is Whitney. I'm from Boston. My major is biochemistry with a minor in computer science, and, uh, and I'm also on the pre-med track. My name is Danielle, I'm from Memphis, Tennessee, and my major is English with a minor in French. My name is Amaya, I'm from Chicago, the west side, and um, my major is probably going to be psychology with a minor in marketing. Okay, so that's everybody, and so we're going to answer a few questions that some of you guys sent in a while ago. So the first question on the list is, do you like college? <laughs> Y'all can be as honest as you want to be. Well, for me, I like college. It's just, it's a lot. It's different than what I expected, I guess. I don't know. What do y'all think? I don't have to say the same. I do like college, but it's a lot more work than I expected. <laughs> I was not prepared. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, what y'all think? I think, like, I like college. Sometimes it does feel like a big kid's playground, if that makes sense. Yeah. Because like there's always so much going on and sometimes you feel overstimulated. I like generally like the freedom of college. Um, but like with the freedom comes you wanting to be a part of a lot of things and not managing your time. Ooh. So yeah. Mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> Um, I, I'd say yes and no. College is really fun. You get to choose who you spend your time with and like there's freedom and it's super exciting, but you're also dealing with like a lot, uh, like a different workload depending on where you, what school you came from. And you also just are kind of reinventing yourself, discovering the things that you like, the things that make you you. So all of those together can be super amazing, but also incredibly stressful. So it's that balance. Um, yeah, I like college. I mean, I think we all worked really hard to get here, and being that it is Wash U, it's very hard, and like every day is tedious. But I think the rewards are like just as good. So like we get to like hang out on the weekends, like. Like, you get to meet all these new people, and I don't know, I, I really like it, even though it's rough. <laughs> <laughs> Stay it's alright, you know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, question number two. How do you balance your time, if you balance your time? Still I'm still working out. on that <laughs> Yeah, I don't balance my time at all. For me, I think you just gotta take a step back and realize, because it can be a lot, like we said before, it can be a lot when it comes to work, being in activities, um, a job, and whatever else you got going on. So like taking a step back and looking at each thing one at a time, that's what I prefer doing. I mean, I just go with the flow, to be honest. Like, I don't know, sometimes I get into work mood and then that's when I finish all my work, but if I'm not in the work mood, I'm not gonna do no work. <laughs> so, but I mean, I still finish my work though. Besides what Amaya said is that the work, the work, the work still gets done. We may go out and do whatever we want to, but at the end of the night, we still finna do that work. Right. That's what we do. For. Get their work done. I just do what I can. <laughs> I still go out. Is it all gonna get done? Be like them, you know. I try, to, work um, I try to get my work done like as soon as possible like when I come from my dorm I try to do it before I do anything else sometimes it doesn't work out 
because people like to interrupt me and come in my room and but to interrupt me and come in my room and but it just happens. Of course it be my, <laughs> my like number one tip is like prioritizing and also procrastinating. Okay, so no, listen, hear me out. Okay, the way that works is so like I'm in the art school, so like studios are already like three hours long and they want you to spend a solid eight hours outside of class working on things. So it's like, I have to realize, okay, yes, I have art school, but I also have philosophy and econ, and that stuff is also gonna mess up my GPA if I don't focus on it <laughs> and prioritize. So I will have to procrastinate my art projects to get other things done. So that's what I meant by procrastinating. Don't worry. Like, and, oh yeah. Yeah, like. You gotta once, like, choose your battles. Yes. Because look, you can't get it all done. So pick which one's gonna have the biggest impact on that GPA. So. We'll also say on that note, <laughs> I say this like I do this. Anyways, <laughs> um, I would say that it really helps to start things early. I would say if you start things earlier and then like procrastinate like the next few days doing the other stuff that's really gonna mess with your GPA, then you kind of set yourself up to be in a good position so you're not like sobbing later when you have to write a paper or anything. Like you'll be you'll be good. Question number three is about dating life in college. So Basically, all I'm gonna say is if you're coming into college thinking that you're gonna find your husband like when you first walk in More than likely that's not gonna happen for you I don't know who told you that lie who told anybody that lie cuz it's not true <laughs> What y'all think? We've been here for one semester and you just saying this already? Let me, let no, me it's, it's let me true. tell my piece. Like, I yeah. found me a man. I don't know about them, but I found me a man I found me a man with my man. My books I like a <laughs> <laughs> I bought him, but like it's okay <laughs> <laughs> but no, like, okay, oh. see, you know how, like, TV tells everybody, like, oh, you're gonna find the love of your life within, like, the your first, husband, all yeah, like, the when first you first hour. come here, yeah, <laughs> like, <laughs> he drives your books, yeah. he helps yeah. you, yeah, um, I would say you meet, like, interesting people, you know, as the semester go on, you meet, when you want to, you want to, you want to, you want to, you want Personal. <laughs> you know, there's some people like like you have a really good time with, like you vibe with, you get to go you 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 know Tinder comes in clutch for her. <laughs> <laughs> I will say, it is your first year. Do not get attached because there's a 95% chance you are gonna break up in the next year. But um, <laughs> but also have your fun. Like we all did this summer program, and they said like, you know what? Don't date in it. Like don't get attached. You know, some people listen, and like sometimes you just don't. <laughs> but, like, <laughs> just like have your fun. Get to know people. Like, I mean, do what you want to do. Exactly. I like, feel like build, just build like friendships right now. Don't focus no, so much can. on dating somebody. It's oh, not yeah, that important. Yeah. Right um, friendships. First of all, friends are beautiful. It's an amazing thing. Um, I will say that I'm on the other half. I broke up with my um, boyfriend, or my ex now, uh, towards like the middle of the first semester. And it's along with like thinking about, oh my god, I should totally be in love, and I should find all the people I need. Like that doesn't always happen. Sometimes you reevaluate and you realize what you do need. So I'll say that like it's a good time to see what kind of relationships you're looking for. And that may mean ending some, that may mean creating others. So it's like, Evaluate before you jump into shit, basically. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, but remember what y'all came here for in education. Yeah, right. Don't yes. let these boys get caught. Don't get caught. Don't get caught. Don't get caught. Marry your education. <laughs> That's the pregnant. Wait, wait. Hey, <laughs> <that. laughs> okay, she, your has, books. she has something to say. Yeah. Also, uh, yeah, I think you shouldn't like listen to other people. Or like you just go at your own pace, to be honest. Because I know sometimes family can ask you to. That's also annoying. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Excuse me. And they're like, why don't you have a boyfriend yet or anything like that? <laughs> but I mean, like, <laughs> this is personal. <laughs> No, that's real. Go ahead. No, that's real. Thank you. Thank you. Because you, know, you, go, to, you go to family functions mm -hmm. and they start asking you like that kind of stuff. But mm -hmm. honestly, like I don't care because I'm gonna do what I want at the end of the day. And also, like you're not in a relationship with them. Like just go at your own pace and like whatever you think is true to yourself. 
just like don't get discouraged because you feel like people are doing ahead better of you. Than you. Yeah. Yeah. Like if it don't matter if everybody else is in a relationship, if you don't, if you're not comfortable enough to get into a relationship right now, then don't do that. But um, okay. So we're gonna wrap this video up, but we're gonna talk about like party culture here and also drinking culture. That's not existing. The party culture. <laughs> here at Washu. Okay, you have, and this is just me being real. You have like your Greek life frat party culture like here on campus and then you have like everybody else just trying to like make the best out of their situation and I'll put it that way because like there are some upperclassmen here who like throw parties at their houses and stuff um that are off campus but nearby and those are usually pretty nice sometimes they get shut down but I mean that's college party life but the frat parties here they they can kind of get out of hand I would have to say if it's a party in one of the on campus buildings <laughs> <laughs> do not go <laughs> and then also if you do choose to go to like a party don't go alone make sure like yes. people know that you're going that you're going with a group of people that you leave with them that's important and okay so like this is gonna segue into drinking culture not to encourage like drinking or whatever because if you are gonna do it all i'm gonna say is know your limits like you need to be safe because people are crazy these days like somebody will put something in your drink not saying like this happened here but like you know don't just like do more than you can handle like know your limits and be safe because not everybody has your best intentions at heart and that's like at any college not just watch you it's also okay okay not to drink yeah, yeah. yeah. you can have fun without drinking as well. mm -hmm. have fun stay hydrated with a little bottle of water yeah you know? <laughs> like i don't know why a lot of people think like when you come to college like you just have to drink to fit in like I, don't, I can't speak for nobody else, but, like, here, it's not really that much pressure to drink. I mean, like, yeah, a lot of people do it, but, like, it's not like you're peer pressured into doing it all the time, you know? Yeah. So, yeah. I advise you to bring a bottle of water to every party. Mm -hmm. Because them just finna be hot yes. and sweaty, and you just, mm -mm. And I have no water, no food, none of that. Not saying they're gonna, but still, <laughs> you need that water. Yeah. Also, you don't have to go to a party every weekend. Yes, yeah, yeah. when I say <laughs> you're gonna come to college and like want a party, turn up like the movies and all that, that's how you get behind. I can speak from personal experience because last semester I was doing too much. Well, not like in a bad way, but I just like always wanted to go out and I just didn't know when to stay in and I almost fell Spanish. So remember your purpose here. Yeah. yeah, you came here to get an education, not party. But on that same note, <clears throat> don't be a goofy stay in all the time and like tweak and do your homework because last semester mm -hmm. i used to procrastinate and then when it comes to saturday everybody at the party i'm like well mm -hmm. i have to do two weeks of homework so let's get started <laughs> so make sure you have the balance of i said balance balance mm -hmm. of fun and work because you're not gonna be happy yeah but like, i'm always happy like we came here to get a degree but also yeah. you came here to have experiences too because like especially you ain't gonna pay this much money just to sit in your room all day like go out and have fun but just no one's a really back in and partying does get tiring after a point like the amount of exhaustion even if you're like not like always dancing at the party like you will feel so tired and by the time you pass out on your bed like just of exhaustion you're like because the day heat yeah <laughs> but like the day is like practically half gone like when you wake up and you don't always have to go to like a big party. You could have just like a little dance party in your room with your friends. Yeah. It sounds yeah. so yeah. sad. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 you could you could like party with your friends on your own not like party but just like hang out like sometimes that's better than going out to like a huge frat party you know but okay so that's the end of our video i hope you guys liked it i'm gonna link everybody's social media down below follow them you know like subscribe tell us what you think all that stuff all right bye y'all bye, bye. bye.